Extrema stoves. Remember, one is none, two is one. Came upon a pretty good deal for about, I think, $18 and some odd cents. It came with some utensils. They are foldable spoons and forks. A spoon and a fork with each stove. They come apart if you want. Put it back in there. And to get to work properly so you don't have to worry about them coming apart on you when you use them, slide that bar down and it prevents you from squeezing this in and dislodging it. When you're done using it, of course clean it up, fold it back down and pack it. It's a pretty good deal really. Slide it down, locks it in there. So these are pretty good, but I don't believe they're stainless steel. They might be, but I can't tell if they are or not. And again, they come apart. Okay, put that back in there. <clears throat> Move these over there. So this here is actually a pretty good deal, I thought. Had pretty good ratings on Amazon, which is usually a key factor. Typical fuel that these type of stoves run on here comes with the ignition get this out of the way hit that tab grab that tab I should say don't hit it pull it over now these here you can have in or you can go ahead and flip them out to hold something larger Make sure your rubber seal's down there. Again, typical fuel. Let's put that on. Make sure that's snug. Don't over tighten it. Just snug it down there. Let's see. Get all these set right. Okay, that works. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. Let's see if the igniter works. It's a little bit windy today, so it may not work. Okay, let's get this started. There you go. I have the Sue Gunning stainless steel pot 750 a little bit big for a cup but it'll work good it's got the bell on it these are nice comes with a lid about 18 dollars or so on this this here is a pretty good little piece what it will do set that pot on there see how long it takes to go ahead and boil 16.9 ounces of water. Let's give this to the puppy. Now it's kind of windy out here. You may have to put up a windbreaker of some sort. But I'll tell you what, this pot, just the way it is, is kind of impressive. This stove on this old picnic table we got out back still snow covered in the mountains I can't go up there today kind of wanting to get out of Dodge if you know what I mean and get up in there and enjoy some outdoor activity but just haven't been able to lately whenever you use one of these stoves they're the same they come in here they come with some extra additives there to get them going on the market always bring alternative ways to light it ferrocenium rod Of course, you can use your personal lighter. See? Kind of think we need. It's starting to get bubbly right here. It's starting to bubble. A little close up here. This lighter, igniter, I should say, 
sometimes these don't work even on the real expensive stoves these here are the less expensive ones but they work now if it's just because of the igniter no big deal to me I always carry multiple ways to start a fire again grab the tab pull these tabs around set them back go ahead and screw it on your fuel tank now there are adapters which we will see in a different video that you can put this on and put it on the green Coleman canister if you want those are pretty nice too and then once this is obviously cooled off you unscrew it and you put it up right back where you got it so the extremis seems to be working pretty good but it's not your high dollar stove it's a reasonably priced stove and if it does the same thing and if it's dependable why not buy this or any other brand along that price range I came upon a good deal which I like and that's what I usually buy is the good deal now I'll just go ahead and put these two right back in here let's see how this tastes Folgers classic roast We'll use those. You can pick these up from your dollar stores and on. There's seven in each box. For one cup of coffee. They're instant coffee. Pick these up for a dollar twenty-five. So much for the dollar store. Now it's a dollar twenty-five. Turn that down a little bit. Go ahead and get that off of that stove. Use one of these spoons. Yeah, it's clean enough. I already washed them before I brought them out there to be sure. Put that coffee in there. Then we just go ahead and stir it up. There you go. In about two minutes you can have coffee. Is that quick enough for everybody? That's approximately what it took. Doesn't make any difference to me if it's a minute and a half or it's two and a half minutes or even three minutes boiling. It does the job. Mm -hmm. Smells good. I smell good. Well, it's Folgers. It better be good to the last drop. That is Folgers commercial, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. Mmm. Tastes good and it's hot. So I gotta let that baby cool off for a little bit. But there you go. This here works. And don't forget, like I did in the beginning, you want to turn it up a little bit, yeah. See, you can turn it up a lot. Not bad for a stove. Works good for the first time out. You can feel the heat. Yeah. So warm. Yeah, the wind and everything blowing. Really blowing a lot. But let's see. Let's turn this baby off. There you go. Complete fuel shut off. It's always a good sign. But again, these igniters that come with them, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But I'm not worried about that at all. And let's just see if we could just do this get this started just a little bit in the fuel ferrocium rod ferrocium rod and knife there you go that was pretty cool try that again 
There you go, fair seam rod. Works good, knife. Your knife gets like that from using fair seam rod. Just wipe it off. That's all that is. Usually in your fair seam rod, if you clean them ahead of time, maybe take that paint off. Then you gotta make sure this stays dry, otherwise it could rust, develop rust on there. You don't want that, just depends. But it works great. Always bring multiple ways to start a fire. From a lighter, this, fire seam rod. That way if the igniter doesn't work on any brand of stove that you get, then no problem. Trip's not ruined.